It looks almost post-apocalyptic in Wuhan. The streets are deserted. Shops are shut. It is cut off from the rest of the world. In the epicenter of a now global outbreak, the death toll has been rising every day. So high is the risk of infection that the United States will evacuate some of its trapped citizens on Tuesday. British expat Karn Lambert says he's had no such support from the UK government. There's a lot of anger between the British expats in Wuhan at the moment. We have had no contact from the Foreign Office. Nobody has tried to contact us and to see what we need, if everybody's OK, if anybody's feeling unwell. China has entered full crisis mode. It has drafted in more than 2,000 extra doctors and nurses to Wuhan. And they are now building not one, but two specialist hospitals. In a video posted online for the attention of the outside world, this young man in Wuhan dared to criticize his government. The virus is quickly spreading across the globe, and hundreds of new and suspected cases are appearing all the time. The Chinese government today revealed it is spreading faster than SARS and will continue to accelerate. Two million masks a day are being produced at this factory. The staff had their New Year holiday cancelled. This and hand washing are currently the only protection you can take against a virus whose threat and spread just keep increasing. The mayor of Wuhan has tonight revealed that five million people left before Thursday's lockdown. That's almost half of the city's population and millions of people who will have traveled across China and around the world, potentially carrying a virus which is extremely contagious and proving difficult to contain. Debbie Edward, ITV News, Beijing.